everybody, um, my name is Rolf Hartung and I want to talk to you today about learning and change. How does learning and change work? And I brought to you the model of the neurological layers, how to say, <laughs> uh, from Robert Dills, which uh, shows you about the environment, the behavior, the capabilities, the values and beliefs, the identity and the purpose. And the learning starts from the bottom to the top. And the change, the higher you start, the more sustainable it is. Means what? So for example, if you learn something new, let's say we have a baby. The baby is coming to this world and knows nothing, right? But it's hungry and then it starts crying because it wants to eat something. So somebody is coming and helping the baby, feeding the baby. After a while, it realizes if I cry, somebody is coming. Means what? It gets his first behavior. From different behaviors, like you're working with your dad on tools and things like this, you are developing your capabilities. By having your capabilities over time, you develop your values and beliefs. By values and beliefs, you get to know who you are, you have your identity, and by this, you get a bigger purpose, so the area where you belong to. So this is how we learn who we are and where we belong to. So if we want to have a sustainable change, means what? we have to start at least at the level of values and beliefs. So let me give you an example. Most of the changes we do, we do on the behavior area. We want to stop smoking, we want to start reading books, and we say, I don't take a cigarette anymore, or every day at five o'clock, I start reading a book for one hour. And I do that every day. It's really hard to do, it costs me a lot of energy, and I do that, right? On the other hand, you could have a friend who is really a good friend of, of you and then he is explaining you what is all the knowledge he has out of books and how he think about books and you get a consistent contact to him and you learn how he's thinking about it and what kind of capabilities he is using and by this you're changing your values and belief by experience with your friend and by this you start maybe reading a book, try to figure out what he's thinking about it and what he means about it and then you change your values and beliefs by this you may get new capabilities and a new behavior with it, which is then really sustainable. So this model is the first model which or is the model which is really helping not only in personal change it's also useful if you think about change inside of a company which is the next video or how is new learning look like? So how do we learn um, in workshops? Is it that I force people to do something, I give them models, or is it that I give them exercises in which they experience something, and by experiencing something, they may get a different idea about it. By getting a different idea about it, they get, may get a different value or a different belief about something, and by this, you could have a sustainable change. But this is something as a next video that I want to bring to you. So thank you for your attention. Um, this was the first video and I hope to see you soon again. Bye bye.